me no more reports. Let them fly all. Till Burnham Wood removed to Dunsinane, I will not taint with fear. What's the child Malcolm? Was she not born of woman? Spirits that know all mortal consequences renounce me thus. Fear not, Macbeth. No man that's born of woman shall ever have power upon me. And fly false things. And mingle with the English epicures. The mind I sway by, and the heart I bear, will never sag with doubt, nor shake with fear. The devil damn thee black, thou cream-faced loon! Where God us all that goose look? There is ten thousand. Peace, villain. Soldiers, man. Go prick thy face and override thy fear, thy lily-livered girl. What soldiers, Patch? Death of thy soul, these linen cheeks of thine are counselors to fear. What soldiers, wayface? The English force so please you. Take thy face hence! Satan! I am sick at heart when I behold. Satan, I say! This push will cheer me ever to seek me now. I have lived long enough. My way of life goes down to the seer. And that which should accompany old age is love, honor, obedience, troops of friends I cannot hope to have, but in their stead curses. Not loud. But deep. Mouth honor. Breath, poor heart would fain deny, and dare not. How does your patient, doctor? Not so sick, my lady, as he is troubled with thick coming fancies that keep him from his rest. Oh, cure him of that. Has he not ministered to a mind diseased, or pluck from the, from the memory a rooted sorrow, or raise the written troubles of the heart, or with some sweet, oblivious antidote, cleanse the stuffed bosom of that perilous stuff that weighs upon the heart. Therein the patient must minister to himself. the dogs. I'll hold none of it. Put my armor on! Give me my staff! Satan, send out! Doctor, the things fly from me. Come, sir, dispatch! If thou couldst, doctor, cast the water of my land, find her disease, and purge her to a sound pristine health, I would applaud thee to the very echo, which should applaud again. Pull it off, I say! <sighs> what rhubarb, senna, what purgative drug could scour these English heads? Here's the My good lady, your royal preparation makes us hear something. Bring it after me. I'll not be afraid of death and bane to burn a force. Come to Dustin. Were I from Dunsinane, and away and clear, profit again should hardly draw me here. Hang our banners on the outward walls. The 
surprised still they come, but castle strength will laugh a siege to scorn. You let them lie till famine and the og eat them up. Were they not forced with those that should be ours, we may have met them dareful, beard to beard, and beat them backward home. What is that noise? I had almost forgot the taste of fears. The time had been when my senses would have cooled to hear a night shriek. Or I fell of hair when at a dismal treatise rouse and stir as if life were in it. I have supped full of horrors. Direness, familiar to my slaughterous thoughts, cannot once start me. What was that cry? The king, my lady, is dead. He should have died here after. There would have been a time for such a word. tomorrow. And tomorrow. And tomorrow. Creeps in this petty pace day to day. The last syllable of recorded time. All our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out. Out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. Poor player who struts and frets his hour upon the stage and is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound. Fury. Signifying nothing. Thou comes to use thy tongue, thy story quickly. Gracious, my lady, I should report that which I say I saw, but I know not how to do it. We'll see, ma'am. As I did stand my watch upon the hill, I looked toward Burnham, and anon, methought, I saw the wood did move. Liar and slave! Let me endure thy wrath if it be not so! Within this three mile may you see it coming, I say, a moving grove! Tyrant! Show thy face, if thou hast be slain with no stroke of mine. My wife and child's ghost will haunt me still. Either thou, Macbeth, or my sword with unbattered edge, I will sheathe again, undo let me find him, Fortune! If I 
led me to the stake. I cannot fly. But bear my like, I must fight the course. I see you was that not a woman born, such a one have I to fear or none. Why should I play the Roman fool and die on my own sword? Also, I see lives. The gashes do better upon them. Of all men else have I avoided. Get thee back. My soul is too much charged with blood of thine already. I have no words. Thou losest labor. As easy mayst thou the entrenchant air with thy keen sword and presses make me bleed. Let thy blade fall upon the vulnerable press. I bear charmed life, which must not yield to one of woman born. Despair <coughs> thy charm, and let the angels whom thou served tell thee that Macduff from his mother's womb was untimely ripped. <coughs> no. <sighs> Curse be the tongue that tells me so. And be these juggling fiends no more believed that palter with us in a double sense and keep the word of promise to our ear and bring it to our hope. I'll not fight with thee! Then yield thee. I will not yield to kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet to be baited with the rabble's curse. But Burnham would be come to Dunsinane, and thou opposed, being of no woman born. Yet I will try the last. Before my body I throw my warlike shield. Lay on Macduff, and damn be him who first cries, Hold! Enough! Hail Queen, for so thou art. Behold, where stands the usurper's cursed head. Time is free. I see thee compassed with thy kingdom's pearl, that speak my salutation with their minds, whose voices I desire aloud with mine. Hail, Queen of Scotland.